Hello, 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 and welcome back to Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak. Today we're hunting Basil. We have it sushi with us this time. Um, I brought sushi because sushi is um, quite prone to going to wrangle up some mounted monsters, which is um, it's quite helpful. Yeah, we're back to the Great Sword build. I think it might be my favourite build. I switched back to Insect Glaive off camera, and I was kind of like, hmm. I don't oh no, not this way. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, my analog stick drift is really bad at the moment, and the insect glaive has a lot of uh, moments where your attack direction can be changed by your left stick. Whereas I think at least with this, um, I have a little bit more control over when I... Jesus. Okie dokie. Oh! Yeah, at least with this I can sort of like control the direction of my attacks a teensy bit better. doing fine. Um, we've got a Rampage decoration onto our set as well, which makes it so we don't lose sharpness when we, uh, when we guard, which is nice for the Greatsword because it's one of the bigger drawbacks to guarding with it, which I don't do often, but... Oh, he has this! Awesome! Oh, it's not quite as impressive as it was in Monster Hunter World. That's a shame. I kind of quite liked his nuclear explosion. Um, should we get her up? I feel like we should. Yeah, Come on, Rondi. Demon powder, eh? Why the hell not? No. I want to try and dizzy him at least once so that we can get the dizzy out of the way. Because odds of us being able to do it twice are really slim, so we can just focus on the fight after we've dizzied him once. Nice. Really? Still no. Huh. <laughs> um, yeah, we actually, like, uh, off-camera, actually farmed a bunch of stuff. Um, I farmed, like, a full Insect Glaive build. build. Oh, did we do it? Oh, we did do it. Awesome. Okay. Oh, that way. Oh, God. Okay, you can do that in multiple directions now. Oh, God. It is a shame that um, some of the visual flair isn't really there in Monster Hunter Rise that was present in World. Um, I get why, I just, uh, yeah, it's still, like, sad. Because you do just want everything to look nice and pretty. Because some of the attacks just do not have the same, uh, craziness to them that the ones in World had. Oh, no. Oh, oh okay, he's just gone. That's fine. We didn't want him here anyway. <laughs> All right. I wonder if he's enraged. Does he uh, get the full effect of that attack and do the nuclear explosion in the middle? That'd be really cool if he did. Yes, you are silly. Oh, nice. Oh, not so nice. We're just going to stay down. Okay, we broke something. I think Sushi might have just broken his face. Uh, he's not, um... He's not found anything to, uh, mount yet. 
which I have to say, kind of disappointed with my boy. Because that is something I noticed him doing a lot. When I was playing off camera. Is he leaving? Oh, no. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, Tycrook is here too. That's great. <laughs> Nice. I do need for him to... I think he's being a little bit um, beaten up, to be honest with you, because uh, Tigrex is also around, and... Okay. Oh. Wait, where's Tybrox? Okay, we're just gonna spin around. Oh, it's already... Hang on, we'll just... Burp, and then... There we go. Now we're on Tybrox. <laughs> Who we're still hauling Tybrox for some reason. Oh, no, no, no. This one. Nice. Okay, then we'll punish her. We got both of them. That's actually brilliant. I mean... We did not intend for that to happen. But, there we go. Oh my god. So that was kind of carnage. And, ah, Basil! What are you doing, Basil? So yeah, this has gone pretty smoothly. Um, I don't think Basil's really changed much. He's, um... Yeah, I don't know. I, he's a monster that can be really fun if the stars align. Like, if you get those staggers, like, all nicely lined up and he just keeps falling over, then he's so much fun. He'd Like, you know, just watching him explode. But it just, it doesn't happen that often, unfortunately. Because he is quite mobile for a big old monster. What? One, two, three. Okay, bye. Wait, where's the trap? I see. Welp. Why he over there? That seems like a silly place for him. He should be over where I am. Boom. Oh, man, I've been playing quite a lot today, so I do feel a little bit, um, exasperated, is that the word? I don't know, I don't know why I said it was, um, like a Texan accent, but is that what that sounded like? I don't know, I can't hear myself, so we're just going to, uh, sharpen up whilst he lines up a deadly attack on us. <laughs> he really does have such a big head, and I'm really struggling to hit it. I know I shouldn't really be bothering, but... There we go, we did actually, in fact, get a second dizzy. No! No. Well, he gone. Oh, we killed that. Um, that whatever they are, Izuchi. <laughs> we killed that Izuchi, big time.
Oh, he's gone to E, okay. I mean, he's not really going to get very far, let's be real here. <laughs> Was it worth it? Was it worth you flying away, buddy? Well done. You inspire me to improve my skills. Again, he's another monster. But he's like... Nicely designed. In a lot of ways. He just like... He winds up being annoying. Let's get going. Um... I don't like... I don't know, I don't feel massively engaged in the Basil fight. It's, um... He's just a little bit... I don't know, you can get caught out quite easily just by little stuff that's, like, just sort of everywhere. Um, and when you get into, like, territory where he's able to, like, one and two shot you and stuff like that, which I don't actually even know if that's possible in this game, but maybe it is. Um... Yeah, I don't know. And yeah, as I say, he flies out of your reach quite often. He's not, like, what I would call an especially fun fight. Um, he's probably going to stay roughly where I put him originally. I can't remember exactly where that is, but... I don't know. Man, oh man. Alrighty, the Curio are acting strange. With their host gone, they've lost their food source. So me and the other researchers figured it was only a matter of time before they'd all die out. Yet they're still fluttering around. Why do you think they're acting strange? No knights have reported anything. <laughs> have you noticed anything, Hal? No. Nothing. Hmm. Yeah, me neither. Yeah. Hmm. Well, I'd like to think it's just my imagination, but I've been studying the Curio for a long time now. And maybe I'm like those twins from Hal's Village. I just resonate with them now, I guess. Okay. <laughs> I think he might just be crazy. Uh, the only thing you resonate with is my nerves. You owe Hal's friends an apology for that remark. Anyway, spit it out now. What's strange about the cur Curio? Well, it's like they're getting excited. Sure, they're slowly weakening without their host, but they seem happy, like children that were praised by their parents. That is strange. But if that's your feeling, Bahari, oh my gosh. Oh. I doubt it, but what's the reason? I've got a tentative hypothesis, but it's kind of shaky, so I'm not going to say just yet. Don't want to confuse things. Very well. We'll wait until you're ready to report then. Hal, we may be in a precarious situation, it seems. Stay alert. Fiorain, you and Hal will continue handling quests from Cheech. Just keep an eye on the Curio. Okay. Cool, so I, I think that we are... Are we back towards just doing more village quests, I guess? Hopefully that's the case. How? I've just received an urgent message. Your assistance is required immediately. A Shagaru Magala has appeared, an unbelievably dangerous elder dragon. Its kind has laid waste to many a kingdom. It's, it's a mighty adversary, but the kingdom has faith in you. I have faith in you. The kingdom needs you, Hal. Please, I beg you. Please accept the urgent quest and defeat the Shagaru Magala. Excellent. Okay, yeah, we'll do that. We'll do that in this episode. Uh, yeah, let's just give this a go. They're a cool matchup. Damn, okay, that's friggin' cool. That is so cool. Um, so yeah, Shagaru Magala. Um, Shagaru Magala is like the de-skinned version of Gore Magala. Um, and yeah, in 4U, the whole storyline was trying to figure out what the heck was going on with uh, Gore Magala. And like, why it was like such a weird creature. Um... And it turns out that it's an elder dragon uh, within a sort of like an exterior shell 
and it like sheds that shell and it turns into Shigeru Magala, which is an elder dragon. Um, which is yeah, it's awesome. Really, really cool, um, cool concept. And it's uh, from what I remember, it's really well executed as well. So I think this is an area we've not been to before. It actually is. So we have like an arena to face this guy. I wonder if he actually leaves this arena. He's so freaking cool. Oh, I thought he was going to do another one. So yeah, this is him. Kind of like Awakened Gormagala, um, like, but the whole way through the fight. Um, oh no, 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 I made an error. We're good. Oh, we apparently do have Frenzy. So we want to get its tail and we want to break its horns. Those are like the key things here. We might not be able to because we're not exactly skillful. <laughs> oh god, I don't know where, where anything is. Okay. No, 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 get in his face. Okay, this is good. We've got um, our pals taking the hit for us right now. You. Okay. What's that? Oh, come on. That was a hit. Nice. Oh, nice. Oh. No, 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 no. Like, I think we should be okay. There we go. We just get out. Oh my god, we're bouncing. Yeah, we're still going to go for that. Whoa, okay. My hyper armor could get me into trouble here if I'm not careful. Oh god. There we go. Good flash. Damn it. Oh, is that? Okay. I'm gonna back off just for a second. Whoa! Okay, that, is that new? That's amazing. Nope. Nope. Nice. Okay, we we are gonna do everything in our power. Nice. Okay, he's leaving, so yeah, he does go around. No, yeah, this is good. It's not quite mouse no levels of good, in my opinion, but it is very good. This is a good fight. Um, and I think like, I can understand why this Elder Dragon is a lot of people's, like, well, well some people's favourite. Um, I mean, what would you expect from a Gormagala um, offshoot? No. Bad dragon. So we're still rocking uh, Evade Extender, which is good for us. Oh, angry boy. God, he's cool. No, we need out. Uh, oof. Yeah, no, we're going to heal. I don't actually trust myself here. Whoa! 
don't know where he is. Oh, yes, nice. So I think we can break the horn again. I might be wrong. There we go. Okay, horn's gone. We're going for a tail next. It's fine. Oh, ho, ho. another break. This could be the tail. We have been hitting it a lot. No? I always forget what this monster can do with all of his different attacks. Okay. That was a satisfying round there. We went a good round with him. And there goes the tail. I'm glad I didn't hold that. I don't actually... Uh, I don't even know what we need to break now. Wasn't paying attention. I think we got most things. I think we're good. One, two. I don't think so, pal. Forward explosions. What did that boy bring? He brought Basil. Great. Legitimately great, by the way. That's not a... Uh... <laughs> Basil Gee's music. A little bit anticlimactic, really, but... No! <laughs> what is happening? This is a mess. Oh, we missed the, like, the second Enrage. That's kind of annoying. Okay, what? That's badass. I mean, we didn't really get to see it, annoyingly. Oh, I was not going to. <laughs> Wait, has he gotten another one? What did he bring this time? He's got the Espinas. <laughs> My God. Oh, my God. This is so dumb. Okay. We might actually get to fight it in a minute. <laughs> oh, was there a... Oh, no, that's the tail. Bugger. That didn't hit me. I got very lucky there. This guy. We are down to green sharpness, which isn't good for us. Oh, and I want to, whoa, <laughs> yeah, this is what I remember from the fight. I want to see a beam, I want to see everything. I want to see all of his moves. Yeah, like that one. No, oh, he's been blimmin'. Um, okay, well, whilst he's got his uh, blindness cap on, we'll... Uh... <laughs> Okay, he's not blind anymore, so that was good timing. Okay. 
So, yeah, wow, that enrage is awesome. It looks amazing. They've done a really good job with that. A really, really good job. Oh. Oh. <laughs> no, that's fair. No. <laughs> Two, three, ah, one, two, and this. Oh my god, so cool. I cannot believe that didn't freaking hit me, to be honest with you. We'll do that. Two, three, nope. Oh, this is going to hurt. I had a feeling that was going to hurt. Oh, God. I went one, two. Oh. <laughs> Basil's back. I told you he likes to ride stuff. <laughs> That's so funny. Oh. I like to imagine that was me that knocked him over, even though it wasn't. Oh, he's nearly dead. We've almost done it. Okay, we did it. Awesome. Congratulations to uh, MVP at Sushi. Um, damn. That was a great fight. I really enjoyed that. Um, I'm sorry that my camera work was a little bit dodgy there, um, especially during the like big enrage moments, but... Um, Rather frustratingly, the um, citadel and jungle areas have a lot of really cramped spaces, which is kind of annoying. Um, like, you do miss out on some of the more cinematic stuff every once in a while, but it's okay. I enjoyed that a lot. Um, it's basically just like Gormagala turned up to 11 without his, like, goth boy facade. Um, which, yeah, no, it's cool. Um, I think he's, like, both better and also worse than Gormagala. Like, I like Gormagala because it has, like, the the two phases and they're very distinct from one another. Whereas I think Shagaru Magala is kind of like, he's just one complete thing. Um, and we have a cutscene. Okay. What else is there? I am so confused with what else actually there is. I know Valkana got patched in, but that was like late DLC. So what... What is this? What are we fighting? A feather? A feather? No, that's not a feather. These creatures... Consume life. Oh. Oh. Oh no. Anjanath. No. My boy. I actually don't really like Anjanath very much to fight, so I'm glad he's done with. So they're like a plague. They are like a plague of lo locusts, kind of just devouring everything. That is, um, that's like scary. That's like real scary. Like if we were hit with like a pandemic-y type situation like that, like we'd just all be dead. Like there would be nothing that we would be able to do about that. That's crazy. I've had a report from Dr. Tadori. The Curio attacked an Anjanath, sucked it dry. Perhaps what you said about resonance wasn't all talk, Bahari. This is certainly a new level of activity from the Curio. Is it because they're without a host that they behave in this manner? Yeah. They're really going at it now. I mean, Anjanath are no snack. Those Curio mean business. But why now? What's got them all stirred up and hunting for food? First hypothesis? They're surviving autonomously now. Second hypothesis? They've found a new host. Oh god. So wait, what else is there? The last DLC I heard about was um, Valkana. But Valkana just looked like its own thing. It didn't look like it was attached to 
the main story. So, I don't, I don't know what this is. I'm really curious. See, I was wondering if they were going to have like a uh, a yin and yang sort of um, economy almost between the Gormagala and its frenzy virus and the Curios and their like life draining thing. So I was going to be like, oh, the Curios will kill stuff and then the frenzy virus will reanimate them. But that doesn't seem to be what they're going for here. We've just sort of like slain Shagaru Magala, so... Hmm. I'm going to go ahead and shoot that first idea down. If they didn't need a host to survive, then they didn't need Malzano. The second idea is more plausible, but then who's the new host? Surely not another Malzano. There'd be another crater if that were the case, and there's no reports of the sort. Oh, uh, I wonder. I wonder if... Because this, this might be why I've not heard of any other big new monsters. What if it's Nawa and Ibushi? And they've been afflicted. That would be interesting. Exactly, Theo. The crater that wrecked the capital and the one that opened up here were both due to Malzano. So if no one's reporting a gigantic hole in their backyard, there's no new Malzano. Keep a close eye on the Curio's movements, Pahari. I'll mobilize a dedicated team to investigate. Hal, Fiorain, carry on handling quests, but be on the lookout for Curio activity. I'm so curious here. Um, we'll look. We'll talk to the quest damsel. No, 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 no. We'll we'll talk to the quest damsel now. So the curio are going around attacking monsters. I knew that they were active, but I didn't realize they would literally suck the life out of a monster. Eek! I hope they don't suck the life out of me. No, get it together, Cheech. You have to be strong. Um, despite the curio's behavior and gross face, we will triumph. Anything's possible with you by our side. Well then, let's have a look at the quests. Uh, let's see what we're going to do next time. Oh. We're at this point now, huh? Oakley dokley. Oh, they should have just made it so you have to do all three of them. I mean, I'm going to do all three of them anyways, but... Hmm. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay, so basal geese. Uh, artillery, guard, razor sharp... Guard up, agitator, and load shells. So that is a gun lance set. And I mean, like, for the right kind of character, that looks pretty badass. Um, it doesn't really. Oh, no, 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 no. Doesn't really suit me. It does look quite cool, though, doesn't it? Look at that. Absolutely, look at that. That is actually such an aesthetic. What the hell? It's so cool. I'm kind of tempted, to be honest with you. Um, maybe layered armor or something like that. Oh, I didn't do the other one. That, that's a really good armor set, actually. You know, I take that back. That's awesome. Um, and then, arc. Uh, Bloodlust coalescence, resuscitate critical elements, razor sharp, and spare shot. What in the world is bloodlust? Uh, the effects of the frenzy virus change. Health is gradually reduced, but you gain a variety of effects. Frenzy virus occurs regularly when in combat. Uh, so we'll, go, we'll look at the level 3 one. While infected, boost effects years. receive. Upon recovery, further increase to the duration of affinity. Okay, we need to read the first one. <laughs> While infected, attack and evasion increase and stamina use is reduced. On recovery, red vitality gauge is restored and affinity increases. Oh, okay. So it's another risk versus reward kind of thing. Oh, and I guess, does that count as an abnormal stasis, status? Because then coalescence would then synergize with that, giving you even more stuff. That's kind of crazy if that's actually how that works. That's a really good idea. What is resuscitate? Oh, and it further... Okay, I see this now. This is actually decent. This is really decent. Damn. Okay. That's, like, awesome. And it gives elemental damage up as well. That's crazy. That's actually crazy. That's a really, really good combination of sets. Um, okay. <laughs> it looks... Um, I mean, I'm sure there's someone out there that quite likes that. But it's not, it's not really for me. Um, but damn. 
That is a good set, though. That is a very good set. I might have to uh, look into maybe building that. When you need me. Um, so, first things first, in terms of armor sets, that was a complete win. Like, arena. genuinely a complete win. Um, ah, so much stuff. Um, okay, so, Basil. Um, armor set, really damn good at Master Rank. I really like that as a gun lance set, and it has a really good aesthetic. Um... The fight itself still kind of meh, in my opinion. I, I, don't, I don't really love it. Um, I love Basil Geese's, uh, like, a, a, aesthetic design. I think he's very cool looking. Um, like, just that whole bomber aesthetic, still really cool. Uh, Master Rank did not really add what I was looking for for him. Like, his ultimate attack is really watered down in this version of uh, Monster Hunter. And just generally, I think he was a little bit tame. Um, so yeah, I think he's going to sit at maybe a high 6, low 7 kind of rating. I haven't quite decided yet, but I'm, I'm going to say, I'm going to say a high 6. He's at a high 6 for me. Um, and then, Shagaru Megala. Um, Shagaru Megala is awesome. Um, it is up there for me really up there for me i think a really really cool hunt um i'm gonna put it at a high eight um it's an eight still but it's a high eight and i think it is yeah it's it's verging on a nine it's almost as cool as malzano like it is like it's really good um but yeah yeah uh, and again the armor brilliant I think the armor has really cool idea. It's, as you, as we say, very risk versus reward. Um, like, I don't actually know whether I would be building it because I'm just not very proficient at using sets like that. Because it involves me taking damage and then not getting hit. Now that's the problem. <laughs> not getting hit is not one of my specialties. So, um, yeah, I don't know. Um, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Um, maybe, maybe we'll build it. Maybe we won't. Um, but yeah, I think that that's been that's been a successful episode. Slow start, but really strong finish. Um, and then yeah, uh, next time, Elder Dragons. Yeesh. Um, thank you very much for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Farewell.